Hi everybody, this is Siti Readings and hi Taurus. Let's see what messages are going to show up for you. In case this reading resonates, there will be a link in the description box to the extended. Show me what I need to see for Taurus, please. In the extended, we will see how's your person thinking, feeling about you, their next moves, outcome of ice, love notes, guidance from spirit and your future love. So also I'm going to be telling you what blessings are coming your way, what may be something you have a hard time with and advice from spirit, all of that, okay? So do have a look, it will be linked below. Show me what I need to see for Taurus. Show me what I need to see for Taurus, please. worry i'm learning that worry doesn't change an outcome some of you are stressed about something these days it may also be something you have to decide about okay there's this energy of indecision i use my intuition in all aspects of my life so if you're indecisive about something spirit is saying that you already have the answer to it maybe you're hesitant to take that um as an answer because you're doubting yourself relationship reverse for some of you, you've disconnected from a person recently, okay? But I see you under stress or it's like you're worried about something these days, okay? Love, I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. So I want you to affirm, I am love and I attract love love into my life okay i let go of the worry and the indecisive energy i let go of worrying and indecisive energy and i welcome love because i am love i commit to the practice of seeing good in all things so spirit is telling you to shift your focus from um something here that you're possibly worried about to this energy of love okay because it's like a shift of um, shift of mindset here, okay? All right, let's see. Your cards are flying out today. Appreciation number 15. It could be significant for you. Okay. Show me one more. Door to Romance and the Thinking Woman. So there's somebody in love showing up for you. Right now you're in this energy where you're learning to be by yourself and appreciating little things in life. With the appreciation card, you're also being told here to see how far you've come. Okay. Um, because it's always good to look back and see, okay, where I started and where I am now. Uh, with the thinking woman card there's something like i keep getting an energy here of something being on your mind taurus okay some of you are planning to start something new or i don't know there's like a new sense of direction here in your energy with the door to romance and appreciation card somebody could be coming towards you here who's appreciating you or who may compliment you, okay? But with the thinking woman energy, you're in your own thoughts. Number 45, 15, number 33 could be significant. Some of you could be 33 or 47 years old. Or number three, one, five, four, and seven could be significant. Those numbers could be your life path number. That could be your birthday, okay? So let's see messages for taurus please judgment i see you making a decision about something taurus i'm also getting an energy here of you going through this phase of awareness of what needs to go what needs to stay okay some of you may even work online 
uh, you may be working online or there could be some form of a news coming in it's, it's like an energy of making an announcement uh okay mm. i like it taurus i feel like you're expressing your feelings here or you you are in this expressive energy some of you may be into a person as well with the page of reverse some of you are maybe researching something new or learning about something new, but I'm really getting an energy here, especially when it comes to your feelings. It's like you're wanting to express something and wanting to open up in regards to something, okay? With the moon reverse, it's like having transparent feelings towards something or being very clear about something, okay? Despite the fact that... It's, it's like you're not really caring what the other person is going to say. You're expressing yourself. And I like this because it's a very confident energy. And with the judgment, it makes it even more nice, you know. Some of you could be saving money to buy something. Or you feel like your money, like you're not really happy with where your money is. And this year, Jupiter is going to be in your sign, Taurus. Especially if you're Taurus Sun or Taurus Rising. It's all about you. I feel like this year also, it's really about your identity shift. You know, um, it's like something about your aura, something about yourself, how you're perceived, how you do things, how you go about things. That is going to change a lot this year. And with the Four of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles, some of you could be waiting on some form of a decision in regards to money. Or you could be saving money for some form of investment. But it's like I do see a little bit of stress here in regards to your money situation. With the Seven of Pentacles here, you're being careful with something you know seven of pentacles is also an energy of okay i'm kind of looking into where i can put my resources so that i can make things better for myself and with the page of souls reverse and the seven of pentacles here i definitely see that you're up to something okay you could be researching something or thinking about investing um investing money somewhere okay king of wands hmm I kind of feel like some of you are perhaps um, you're turning your back to somebody who you feel like was lacking confidence in the situation or they like they were lacking the confidence to claim you. OK, with the King of Wands energy here, I do feel like you're wanting to go at something with, you know, there's like this desire to take action. But the Seven of Pentacles is kind of putting a doubt in your head, especially if it's about money. OK. Two of Cups. I keep seeing here that there's love showing up for you, but your focus is on money and your growth. Uh, I also see you letting go of something toxic here, okay? And you're very clear about it. You, you're, you're like, okay, I have had enough in my life where now I can just say that this is something I do not want to entertain. Some of you have had toxic relationships in your life, maybe two of them okay significantly or at least one where you know that relationship has really changed your perception about things how you are um how you're doing things and how you perceive things okay with the moon reverse and the devil reverse i see you getting over that or i i don't see you entertaining that no more and i'm really liking this energy because it's like you are You're like, okay, I don't want to do this, you know? With the death and the king of pentacles energy. I do feel like there's somebody showing up um, to coming towards you. Okay, king of pentacles and the death card. With the king of pentacles and the death card together, I do feel like things are changing. Okay. There's some form of a radical change here, especially in regards to your relationship. Like I keep getting relationship energy. We have the king and the queen of pentacles, but the queen of pentacles is in the reverse Taurus. So it's, it's like, this is a divine counterpart, no doubt, but I don't feel like with the queen of pentacles reverse, I feel like you're not in the mindset of entertaining this because you kind of have your own thing going on. With the magician the knight of wands at the bottom of the deck see so there is like there is this energy of somebody showing up 
okay six of cups ten of cups you've been on this person's mind what's that two of cups please there's a union here oh my goodness there is a lot going on in this reading what's the two of pentacles Mm. Um, a part of your advice here, Taurus, is also to let go of some form of expectation in regards to a relationship or in regards to a person. The Fool card here is almost like a free-spirited energy. It's like taking that leap of faith forward towards something. Some of you are too conscious about your love situation. Because you've gotten the card of door to romance, I definitely feel like there's some form of communication or some form of interaction here. But you're conscious, okay. Hmm. What's the king of wands? It's like you're looking forward to something. And three of wands is generally a card of your ships are coming in. Show me more, please. Seven of Cups, Nine of Swords Reverse. Something that you're stressed out about, it won't be something significant in the future. Over here as well with Worry card, it says, I'm learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. So. There's something here about you being stressed over something, but again, with the Seven of Cups, it's like that situation is gonna get tackled. Seven of Cups is like, okay, I'm ready to see the options or the opportunities right there in front of me. And Nine of Swords can kind of be like, oh, I'm just stuck in my head. But because Nine of Swords is in the reverse with the Seven of Cups, I do feel like if you're more open to new beginnings and you're more receptive, things are gonna be much more easy flowing for you. Because like I said, you're conscious about opening up to something. It could be about money, it could be about love. There's this energy of you having doubts with the Seven of uh, Pentacles and the Death card. What's that Death card? It's good that you're not wanting to repeat certain cycles from the past with the Devil Reverse. It's like, you're not very welcoming of this energy where you feel like if, if you see a couple of red flags then you're just like i'm done but it doesn't mean that you completely close off to love that's why as well you're getting the card of love here i commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things okay let's see show me what i need to see for taurus please show me what i need to see the Emperor. Endings and new beginnings. Empress reverse. Some of you are dealing with a person, like you feel like you and them are not on the same page, but for some reason, maybe it's hard to detach from them. And if you have a person like that in your life, Taurus, I'm telling you, this is a this this is like a karmic or soulmate kind of a connection. Because the Queen and the King of Pentacles is here. Okay, one more thing I'm noticing here is that the feminine energy, okay, in the relationship, the feminine side, it's not receptive. It's closed off, okay? I don't know if it's you or the other person. Feminine energy means whoever's on the receiving end, okay? It doesn't have to be gender specific, but again, because the queen and the empress is here, so maybe it is about... Um, some form of female influence okay i'm getting here that there is a connection but there's something missing you may feel like there's something missing in 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 this okay show me one more card for this tower reverse you know what taurus it all comes down to this one thing and it's coming down to this one thing again and again and it is that you're not wanting to repeat a cycle with the tower reverse. It's like you're trying to avoid some form of disaster here. That's why you're pr protected in your energy. But with the judgment and the death card, that can also talk about awareness. 
Where should Taurus focus, really? Let's see. Where should Taurus focus? Five of Cups reverse. You have to let go of some form of pain from the past. Five of Cups reverse can also be an energy of seeing light at the end of the tunnel. Mm. So the thing that you should focus on is not on the delays, rather what can be done, okay? The Knight of Swords reverse and the Five of Cups reverse is like um, not thinking negative, okay? With the Five of Cups reverse, it's like seeing light at the end of the tunnel, but because Five of Cups is generally an energy of being stuck in the past, Knight of Swords Reverse is like, okay, some of you maybe need to take a step back. If you feel like you want to call out somebody or if you feel like you want to just like text and write long paragraphs, just take a break. Because again, one more thing I'm going to tell you is to refrain from doing anything impulsive. You're going to regret it, okay? As much as I see that your energy is a little bit confusing, I also see a love situation and then I see other other improvements in your life. But you're hesitant in regards to something. Not about expressing your feelings, but you're hesitant to open up. Okay, open your energy to somebody. Endings bringing new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, transition. So you're definitely going through this phase of transition. Um, where I see the focus being on endings and new beginnings, a new start, perhaps, okay? Clock. Need time takes time. Cycles. Time to heal. Progress. Mm. The love call. So somebody here is showing up with a message, but you may be like, mm, I need my time to think things through. Okay. But there is the love call. Oh, oopsie. <laughs> it may happen all of a sudden as well for you. But the main focus of the reading has something to do with endings and new beginnings. Okay, that's about it, Taurus. Those were the messages that showed up for you. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. And check out the extended link in the description box below. Take care and bye-bye.